Okay, so I'm just shooting this video to show you um, how optimization and backtesting works. Um, so from my blog, I've, um, I've uh, downloaded the Hamster Scalping MT5 um, Expert Advisor or Trading Robot. You can start off by getting the demo. Um, lots of the Expert Advisors Trading Robots have demos. So you can literally download and then test. You click on test. You see um, it pops up in your expert advisor and uh, what I'm doing here is showing you the settings. So both in the strategy tester, you can run the optimization and back testing. Um, the optimization as in the blog post allows you to identify which of the combination of variables uh, works best for your platform. Um, so I'll show you how to do this. Um, Hamster scalping, so it's showing you that that's the expert advisor that I've got set here. Uh, this is the currency pair that I'm testing against and the time frame. Um, I'm also going to be testing it over a certain um, period of time. So I've chosen the 1st of January 2018 uh, to yesterday, which uh, is, is the 3rd of August today. Um, so a good few months of data. Um, assuming you're going to chuck in 500 USD, um, margin one to 500, um, and, um, I'm going to show the optimization bit in a minute, but to, in the inputs, these are all the variables that you can set. And, uh, literally what you do is you, you go through the variables that you want to test against. So to start off with, I'm going to um, just take everything off uh, just so I can show you how this works. Because if you do run an optimization against everything, then um, it can take a long, long, long time. Um, when I ran this for the first time for my own trading, it took me over 10 hours for it to deliver the optimal or deliver the set of results uh, for me to start back testing on. So. For example, um, yeah, these are the variables which you can set. I am going to test, for example, this one. Um, so at the moment, the, this this column shows you all the variables which are set into the trading robot. And what you can do is you can um, tell it to test, um, you know, against each one. So what I, I can I can say here is I, I want the 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 um, the trading robot to to test that the up level is 50 uh, and will and it will jumps up in 10. So what it'll do is it goes to, it will go 50. They'll test all these variables. Uh, where there's a tick, it will vary it. So the first, the first one, it will, it will ensure that the up level one is 50. And then after it's done the test, it will run the test again, but it will jump up in the step, which is 10 here. You can set that whatever you want, but I'll, I've just left at 10 and it will go to 90. So if you count that, that's 50. So, you know, it, it will go 50 and then 60, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, which is five permutations of five. It says, it says five here. It gives you an indication as to how many um, of the steps it will run through or how many tests it will run. And, you know, if you, if you, do this for example um it will start at 10 in in increments of 10 so it'll go 10 20 30 40 uh, and that'll give you uh, four steps and um it, you know i don't actually shouldn't say steps it should be permutations so you will do five of these and put five of those it'll do four of these which means it would actually do 20 um optimization um uh, run throughs Actually, let's let's leave it. Let's, let's let it do the twenty. And then what you do is, um, if you go to settings and then in the optimization, you can set. You know, I usually set the fast genetic based algorithm. Um, now here, this is the data that it that, that it uses to run the uh, optimization and back testing. If you're running optimization, it's better to run it on open prices. It will be quicker. In an ideal world, you would run everything on uh, every tick based on real ticks, but that is just going to take a long, long time. So 
as a rule of thumb, I run all the optimization on open prices only, and then on the back testing, uh, once I've identified the right sort of setting, I will then, and they'll then choose every ticket based on real tickets, but I'll show you that a bit later on. So let's go back to open prices only, and then you click on start, and that kicks off the process. So we've got the time here, so it's uh, 14.07, so 2.07 in the afternoon. Right, so there you go, so there's the 20 um, permutations I, talk, I was talking about, and it's done three already, it needs to run through 17 more. You watch this as it happens, if you go to optimization results, it will go through um, and let you know, you know how it's done. So these are, I'm done very well. Draw down 99%, 100, these are failed, these are failed. Optimization graph, um, you can see that there's one here that's made, well, it's, it's, it's updated, there's one here that's in, in the optimization, um, 44,000 from a start of 500 USD, which is pretty good. Well, that's excellent actually, if, that you can, if it, can, it can actually achieve that in the real world. But let's run through the cut of graph and that's something else sorry optimization results okay here we are optimization results optimization graph so out of that you can see it's plotting the end result there's one all the way up here which corresponds to this one here but usually i'll i'll, I'll just let it run through all the way to the end and then look at it but like I said, you can look at the, uh, the, 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 the results as they're being generated. Okay. Just more than halfway it's taken a minute, which is pretty good. Okay. Here we go. So it's 14. Five more to go. Just going to take a sip of water. I see right two more. Might end up speeding this part of the video. Okay, here we are. Uh, so let's look at the optimization results. If I, if you click on the, the top, you can sort the, the top one um, uh, generated an end result of forty two thousand uh, dollars, total of one thousand one hundred eight trades. Uh, it did, well, there was a, a massive drawdown though. So we could do is, you know, I don't like drawdowns to see. If, if there are low drawdowns which have an acceptable profit ratio, I mean you've got you know one here. Okay, the profit is um, you know, still ten times what you initially put in, and um, yeah, drawdown. Oh, so it's forty-one percent, so it's still pretty high. But I said, all the drawdowns are quite high here on this indicator. The lowest one being 19%, but then that only generates $134. So, assuming you 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 know you're you you don't you, you don't care about drawdown, you want to just go for the highest, the highest result, the highest uh, end profit, you know, forty thousand from five hundred, and uh, and then what you would do is, you know, these are the settings it actually gave you. So it was the RSI up at um, fifty and the RSI down level of 40, which achieve these results. And then what you can do is you, if you right click on this, you can run a single test. Here you are. And this, um, it's almost like your back test. It shows you what it's done. So you, you know, with those settings, this is what it, this is how we achieved it. Now, you saw that was very, very quick. The end result being forty one thousand fifty eight. 
that was done on open prices only. Um, so as part of the back testing, you should really switch it to every tick based on real ticks. And then if you click on the uh, start, you can see this now running through graph. So that's, that's the graph we had before. Okay, so that's some of the, the back testing data. We'll go through that in a minute. But let's watch this go through. Oh, sorry. So let's do that again. Um, optimization. No, because what happened was I clicked on the uh, optimization again, so it's cleared all the data. But we could do go to optimization results, view previous results. Hopefully it's there. No, I should have saved it. <laughs> okay, so I had to select the hamster scalp instead of the one I was testing. That's just the one I did now. It's all here, which is great. So that's, that's this one. Uh, run single test. Which draws this graph again for us. Just gonna wait for this to finish. Watch out! I can just go stop here. Stop. Now this is the bit. I was, this is what I was trying to do. So I have to select the every tick based on real ticks. Take off the optimization, so you're not optimizing. You're actually running a back test now. So alt test disabled. And now if you go to start, it will use uh, much more accurate data, historical um, price data. And with the, with the same settings, uh, and let's see if it achieves achieves a similar result. So the end result uh, was forty one thousand something uh, using just a uh, open prices, which is um, you know data, but it's um, not not that accurate. Okay, so that's done. Let's double check settings. So this is what it looks like uh, using real data. You can see that took a lot longer. And it just gets you, it gives you a good feel as to what um, the trading rubber could do. And the thing is, it can ramp up really quickly and then you're, you're prone to these sudden drops. You could be quite unlucky when, you know, when you start a robot, you, you could be just here you could be running for you know less than a couple of days and it, it drops if you're really lucky you could you know be right at the bottom of the start of a cycle and then you're riding all the way to the top you know making quite a lot of you know, quite good returns so that's the thing with these robots a, a big part of it you know there, there's there is luck involved um i do like this one because of the exponential growth you do get and it's a case of just knowing you know when to get out um and you're maximizing profit but you know in the real world it's not really that possible to do that um to find an optimal entry ex exit point um what you have to consider is um how much did you put in so if you put in 500 and it's say it's doubled you know i personally would take out my initial investment and then ride it and see how it goes and if it can make tenfold take take some of that out again Maybe um, if your 500 goes to 50,000, I think that's a nice figure. Or even, you know, 500 go to 5,000, I'll, I'll take I'll take those profits. Um, so yeah, very different to know, but you know, if, if you run these these tests, um, then then you you get a, a, a just a an idea as to how this thing could work for you. Um, so I hope you found it useful. Um, I will do some more videos to help you and I will give you my thoughts. So thanks for watching.